In this video, I'll take a closer look at printer lights, a great tool for balancing footage but also for creating looks. I'll start by showing you the best way to use printer lights with the native tools. I'll also show you the printer lights DZTL, which is part of my Look Lab Print DZTL pack, a powerful option for building looks even more efficiently. To start, I'll switch over to the ARRI test footage. Printer lights are basically the offset tool in DaVinci Resolve. First, let me switch the scopes to Parade. Now, when I change the value in offset, it's basically the same as analog printer lights. But you'll notice, when we use offset, the black levels are getting lifted. That's not quite accurate. A better way to use printer lights, especially for balancing, is to right click the node, set gamma to linear, and also set the luma mix to zero. Then we can use the gain for adjusting the RGB values. As you can see, when we adjust gain, the black levels remain intact and aren't lifted. And as I said, printer lights are great for balancing an image. Here I've intentionally made the image a bit more magenta heavy. Looking at the vector scope, I can see that the skin tones aren't on the skin tone line. They are leaning a bit towards magenta. Using printer lights, I can easily correct the image. And now the skin tones are more on the line. Before it was magenta heavy, now it's more in the proper skin tone region. This is before and this is after. That's what printer lights are great for, simple image balancing. But you can also use printer lights for creating a look. I'll make the vector scope a bit smaller now and create a new node. Again, I set the node to linear, set the luma mix to zero, and now I can, for example, shift the gain to the left. And this will give us a yellow golden look. And if I shift it more in this direction, I will get a cool blue look. Let's say I want to create a yellow greenish look. Right away you can see the skin tones are no longer on the skin tone line. They shift towards green as well. One way to globally correct this is to create a second node. So the first node is for printer lights. And the second node is for U rotate. In this node, after the printer lights, I can rotate the U so the skin tones move back towards the skin tone line. I might have overdone it a bit here, so I dial it back a little. Now we can see the skin tones are closer to the skin tone line again. This is the original image, and this is with the look applied. For that you need two nodes, one for the printer lights and one for global U rotate. That always kind of annoyed me, because if I change the printer lights again in the first node, say to shift towards a cooler look, the skin tones are off again. And then I have to go back to the second node to adjust the U rotate again. So I keep jumping back and forth. I change one value, then I have to go to the next node and tweak the U rotate again. And that's exactly why I made the DZTL. For a demonstration, I switch to another image. Here I've just done a bit of balancing and contrast. Then I have the printer lights and the image is currently balanced. The skin tones are on the line, everything looks good. Here you can see the printer lights CZTL. What makes it special is that it's even slightly more accurate than using linear gain. When I adjust the values, the changes are very precise. But the real feature is, there's an auto U-rotate slider. By default, the checkbox is enabled. I can also manually adjust the slider from 0 to 1. Now, if I increase the green light slider, which is like increasing the green value in gain, the skin tones still stay on the line because auto U rotate is active. If I shift towards magenta or green, the skin tones remain stable. I can push the image in either direction and the skin tones stay on the line. If I disable the auto U rotate checkbox, you immediately see the skin tones shift into the green area. Re enable it and they're back on the line. I can also control the strength of the rotation. If I shift towards green, the skin tones stay near the line, and I can fine tune the adjustments further. 
There's also an extra global U rotate slider. So if I want to push the skin tones even further towards magenta or yellow, I can. So even after the auto U rotation, I still have full control. The half scale mode just makes the slider more sensitive. With it off, the changes are quite strong. With half scale, it's only half as intense. And a pro tip, if the sliders react too quickly, just over over the numbers with the mouse, you can make very fine adjustments that way. Now I'll show you two more examples. Again, a simple setup, some balancing printer lights and converting from RE to Rec. 709. Let me reset everything. This is my starting image. I'll enlarge the trace in the vector scope. You can see the skin tone sits nicely on the skin tone line. Now I'll disable auto U rotate. And if I now push the image towards green, the skin tones become green too. You can clearly see it without auto U rotate, everything turns green. The skin tones are clearly off. Now I'll enable auto U rotate and the skin tone snaps back to the skin tone line. I still have the same look before and after, but the skin tones remain correct or are closer to the skin tone line. And here's another example. Let's look at this image. The skin tones are currently correct. I disable auto U rotate and shift towards blue. The skin tones immediately turn magenta. Then I enable auto U rotate, increase the strength, and you can see they stay much closer to the skin tone line. It's super practical. Again, without auto U rotate, everything drifts. With auto U rotate, the skin tones line up closer to the skin tone line. Now I will increase the green light value again, and even though the image is heavily shifted towards cyan, the skin tones stay stable. Without auto U rotate, they drift strongly towards yellow. With auto U rotate, they stay nicely near the skin tone line. And of course, I can fine tune the strengths of the adjustments right on the U rotate slider. So this tool just saves a lot of time. Without auto U rotate, I'd first have to switch to linear, turn Luma Mix down, and then create a second node for U rotate. If I now create a green look with printer lights, I have to jump to the second node again to fix U rotate. Then go back to the first node, make a tiny change, then back to the second node, tweak U rotate again, and so on. All this back and forth costs a lot of time. With the detail, all of that becomes way faster and cleaner. With just one slider, the U rotation automatically adapts to the skin tones. And if I want to fine tune it, I can easily do that with the U rotate slider. There's a free demo version available on my website. It's part of the Look Lab Print Detail Pack. On the website, I've explained everything in detail, including installation instructions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. Have a great day and see you next time.